Hey, how's everybody doing? I see all my friends sitting there hanging out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you, Spanky, for hanging on to the room, you amazingly wonderful woman. I love you, darling. So glad you're able to hang out with us all day long. Hey, Missy. Babe Huskins, how you doing? Chunkmeister, what's going on, bro? Got your package out in the mail today, my man. You're going to be a happy son of a gun when that shows up. Dark Moon Dreamer, my d darling in Texas, how are you doing? Of course, I know Missy's in Texas also, and she's my darling too. But shh, don't tell either one of them. They don't know. <laughs> I'm glad, Chunk. I finally got that. My hard time was finding a box. Finding a box to put that thing in. Rosendahl, what's going on, my man? Sorry I had to keep you up tonight. Hopefully you enjoy the show. You stay up as long as you want, man. If you got to go to bed, I don't blame you, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, Chunk, it took me a little bit to find that box to put that in. What is going on, everybody? How are you doing tonight? Artemis, so good to see you tonight. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Brew City, thanks for hanging out. Chris Gallagher, Chunkmeister, Dark Moon, Freckles. Everybody, I've got a great show for you tonight. Garbage Fairies here, Huskins and Madman, Missy and Protected. Ricardo Mon. Ricardo Mon should have mail from me by now. Hopefully that got there. I sent it two weeks ago today, so it should be around. Uh, Rosendahl's here. Spank me again. That's my darling sweet Spanky. Holds the radio for us all day long. Stereo Dreamer's in the house. Stereo Dreamer, I haven't seen you since the days of Stick'em. Welcome back to the room, my friend. Thanks so much for hanging around. And, of course, Zamacon. Appreciate you being here. Can't hear me. Oh, you're at the mall and your laptop is too quiet. Gotcha. Well, I turned my microphone up a little bit. Hopefully that'll help a little bit for you, Zamacon. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a great day. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight. This is our show. I, you know, that's that's all of, all of our show. Whatever you guys want to talk about tonight, man, that's what we're here for. I'm just here, to, you guys know me, just here to drink a few beers, kick back, and spend some time with my friends. I love being here with you guys. You guys are all so awesome. We have some amazing giveaways tonight for you folks. We got a couple of giveaways from HappyEsmoker.com. We got a couple of giveaways from JuiceRay.com. And I don't know if you can see on my little banner for them, JuiceRay.com now offers free shipping. You head on over to JuiceRay.com and you buy yourself some juice. It's not going to cost you anything to ship it. Sharon, my l amazing, lovely lady, how are you doing today? Thanks so much for coming out and hanging out. Spanky, you are so adorable. Spanky makes me blush. I don't even know how to respond to stuff like that. I'm glad. <laughs> No problem, Sharon. I love hanging out with you. You're an amazing person. Very talented person. So we also have uh, some giveaways from BrewCityJuice.com in the second half of the hour, just like the last couple of weeks. But uh, the second half of the hour, PJ Allen from BrewCityJuice.com. PJ himself is going to show up and orchestrate those giveaways. Yes, he's going to be a special co-host. He's just going to hang out. We're going to learn a little bit about PJ and about Brew City Juice and make you all a little bit familiar with the man behind the... <laughs> you respond back in kind with the same type of comment. <laughs> Velvet Cat, how are you doing, darling? <laughs> yeah, I'm just not that quick on my feet, Artemis, when it comes to, that, comes to stuff like that. Spanky's always giving me a hard time. She knows I'm shy and innocent. <laughs> yeah, with the, the devil horns poking in the way of the halo there. <laughs> we got Flame Chica showing up. How are you? Velvet Cat just showed up. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out. <clears throat> Artemis, that blue that you just chose is pretty difficult to read. And it says, you need training. <laughs> yeah, I know, buddy. I know it. I appreciate you coming and hanging out tonight, man. Caw -caw! Yardbird's in the house tonight. Awesome. Yes, I don't get Yardbird hanging out very often. That's great. I appreciate you hanging out tonight, Yardbird. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one, Artemis. That's a good one. 
Great, Flame Chica. I am doing good. I have had an awesome day today. I've got, you know, I really feel like I've got a good show lined up for you guys tonight. I got the, the interview from BrewCityJuice.com. So I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm just drinking my beverages and hanging out with my friends. And it don't get no better than that. James Detar was wrong. Because when the Swedish Bikini team came bursting through that door. Bursting through that door. Okay, well, I'm perfectly satisfied with you. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. I enjoyed it anyways. <laughs> it's a, he's off vacation Tuesday night. That's awesome, Yardbird. I'm glad. Use the force. That'd take a lot of force to get him all the way here from Sweden. Maybe I could get uh, Rosendahl's help with that. <laughs> well, it's easier if I get to stay home. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to burn through it. So, yes, this is our show, and anything you guys want to talk about, we're here for. I do have one thing I want to talk about real quick. I came across something on Facebook the other day that, that kind of gave me, I don't know, I really liked seeing it. Here's a Facebook post for a group of, over in uh, southern Minnesota. A guy reached out and just basically said, hey, you know, I live here in this area and I want to start a vaping community. I want to start a vaping group. And when I first saw his post, he had two people. He had two or three people in his group and I checked it back a couple hours later and he had seven people in his group and I came back today actually it's been a couple of days and he's got ten people in his group now and I think that's awesome um, I want to urge all of you guys to you know step out there put yourself out there and just say hey look I'm in this area and I want to start a vaping group if you're in an area where nobody you know vapes um, I'm it's easy for me I live in Indianapolis I don't know if you can make out the Hoosier Vapor sign right over there on the bottom of the Albert Pujols plaque or not I'm in a group I'm in a big city it's easy for me to find other vapors not that easy don't get me wrong but I can uh, I can come across some other vapors if I need but I want to urge all of you that if you're in a Jamel welcome to the room thanks for coming and hanging out especially if you're in a you know a not so populated area you know it never hurts to put that word out there and say hey this is where I'm at I vape and try to bring more people into your own personal community you know that's that builds relationships and that's only good for the community and that helps you guys be able to put together meets you're like wow I never knew all these vapors live next to me well you never know if you don't put it out there so I really liked seeing that post on Facebook from from the, from Artemis actually and his group in southern Minnesota and I you know I'd like to see more stuff like that I live in Indianapolis I'm already a part of a group it's well known I don't need to but if you live in an area where you think maybe your vape community could use a step up then maybe step up and and be that person get it going so yeah like Spanky says check it out who knows so that's that's my that's my rant for the week um, I invited Artemis here especially just so that he could hear me use him as an example because I was I was pretty intrigued when I saw his post about that and then I kinda paid attention I'm in Indianapolis and he's in Minnesota so it doesn't do me any good to join his group because I'm not going to make it to any of his meets. I'm not going to be able to contribute to his group except over the internet. And that's, I wasn't getting, that's what he was looking for. He was looking for real life friends near him who vape and they can have meets and, and hang out and it's cool. So, but I, I say kudos to you, Artemis. That's awesome and I hope to see more of that. <laughs> and now we jump down to see Freckles needs a vacation. I hope it's not that bad, Freckles. Have a good night, Protected. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. You've been here all day. It's cool. No problem, Artemis. I appreciate you coming through and hanging out. Stick around, man. We got some good giveaways. We got some stuff from Happy E-Smoker. We got some stuff from Juice Ray. And coming up in the second hour of the show, it's going to be all Bruce City all the time. He's going to be co-hosting with me tonight. And uh, he's going to be giving some stuff away. So hopefully you guys hang out. Have a good time. Like I said, this is our show. 
It's all about you guys, whatever you want. I'm just here to have a few br few beers with my friends. <laughs> BrewCityJuice.com, that's right. Welcome to the room, Tom Nevins. That is a name that I am not familiar with. Welcome to Vapon.tv. Thanks for hanging out. Nice, Artemis. I appreciate you coming and hanging out, you know. I don't generally have a lot of content, so when I find something I can feed on, like your story that I just gave, you know, it just gives me something to do. First time at Vape on TV. Well, that's awesome, man. We appreciate you being here. Are you a new vapor, or are you uh, just your first time here to the network? If you want to chat, if you don't, that's fine, too. <laughs> I had a real good day today. Yes, Brew City is great juice. Their vaccine is amazing. Very sweet, very yummy juice. I just finished off the umbrella drink today, and that was good too. Excuse me. You know how the first couple like to report back. <laughs> hey, surveyor. Welcome. Yes, just like Spanky said, welcome to the room. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Love seeing new names, new faces. So, I am also trying some new juice today. I'm trying some of the Boondocks, Boondock Vapes juice that Hill Giant does on his show. I won a little sample pack and I'm doing the Monkey Shingles from Boondock Vapes and the Casmer from Boondock Vapes and wow. They're both pretty good too. I like good sweet vapes. <laughs> I didn't mean to shut it you up, Spanky. I'm well, sorry, honey. Surveyor. Looking for a good place to buy it. What are you looking to buy, surveyor? Hang on a second. Let me scroll up a second. Stainless steel rope here. Um, surveyor, that might be a show that you might want to come back tomorrow night for with the SS rope. Yeah, I scrolled up and saw that. Um, Mike, the hill giant, his show is on tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and he is the rebuild king here at Vapon.tv, so he would be able to answer any questions you have about the rope, and uh, yeah, tomorrow, same time, same place, just tomorrow, not today. Um, I, you can still certainly hang out and have a good time with me, and we've got good giveaways, and you can chat about anything you want. I build with stainless steel mesh. I make my wicks, but I don't know nothing about the rope, so I can't help you that with that. Yeah, that's what I hear. Lowe's sells it. I've heard some people say that it over wicks. That's about all I know about it. Mike would definitely be able to help you out more with it than me, but... Yeah, I've heard some people say that it over wicks and it's kind of not so easy to work with. But yeah, check with Mike the Hill Giant. His show's called All Meshed Up tomorrow night. And I didn't slur that word. It's meshed. <laughs> All Meshed Up with the Hill Giant. Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. He already did the show. It's recorded on YouTube. Uh, Karen, do you, Dark Moon, do you happen to have a link on that show? It's on the U, Vape on TV YouTube. I don't have a link to that. <laughs> you rolled it over a cotton ball. That's cool. Amy Wamey, my wonderful dear. How are you today, babe? And I am late. I'm late, 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 late for a date. <laughs> Let's switch this over. I gotta shuffle some stuff around. I gotta get these done promptly tonight too. So my screen tells me that there are 30 viewers in the room. So I'm just gonna go off of that. I am going to do my first giveaway. 
from HappyEsmoker.com. It's going to be one 10 milliliter bottle, your choice of flavor, your choice of nick strength from HappyEsmoker.com. If you've not had a chance to head over to HappyEsmoker.com, definitely make sure you get try and head over there and check them out. If you see something you like, maybe go ahead and pick it up. Let them know we sent you. I'm going to go ahead and put a start in the room. It's going to be 1 through 30. It's going to be one number, one number only. And uh, closest to the number wins, high or low, in the event of a tie, we will have a juice off. Yep, it's time for a giveaway, folks. This one from HappyEsmoker.com. So, like I said, one number, one number only, one through 30. Get them in there. We'll generate the winning number. We'll see who's going to win it. Good luck to everybody. Just our little way here at Vapon.tv to let everybody know how much we really do appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, it really means a lot that we can get to spend our evenings with you. You guys see that I really like to just kick back, drink a beer, and spend some time with my friends. I love seeing all those piffs. You guys are awesome. So... I know I've done plenty of time in, in these rooms for myself. Actually, I am vaping right now, or I was earlier today. I swapped out because I wanted to try these new juices, some Happy E Smoking Smoker Bourbon Street Vanilla, and uh, it was pretty much on point. It was good stuff. I really liked it. So, the winner of this juice, uh, Piff. Yeah, uh, I think I'm on number five, Jamel. I can count for you in a minute. But uh, PIF means pay it forward, means that you're going to play for this and you're going to choose somebody who's maybe a new vapor or somebody who's new in the room that you're going to play and if your number wins, you're going to give that to them. So, that's awesome. So, I've, I've noticed that some of the numbers have started to slow down, so if you haven't gotten your numbers in, go ahead and do so because I'm going to put in the stop here shortly and then uh, we'll generate this number to see who... Who's going to win this juice? Yep, Spanky's been keeping up with me. One, two, three. Actually, I'm on four. Five, that's eight. Yep, I'm definitely on number four. All right, folks, here comes the stop. <laughs> Still only on four. My ladies are laughing at me now. Amy and Spanky like to laugh at me. Number 15. Let's scroll back up to the top and see who's got a number 15. I see a 16 from Velvet Cat. Do I see a 14 or a 15? 14 from Ricardo. Come on. Looks like a juice off from Velvet Cat and Ricardo. Come on. Help me out, folks. Make sure I'm doing this right. I see the 14 from Ricardo. Come on. And the 16 from Velvet Cat. All right, so we're going to go one through ten for these two. Happy e smoker juice off, folks. Ricardo Mon and Velvet Cat give us a one through ten. Let's see who we got going on here. I'm going to PM the winner my email address. We're going to send you on over to happyesmoker.com. You can pick out your flavor, choice of flavor and mixed strength, and then uh, you guys can email that to me. I was looking at what uh, Rosendahl he said number nine, and I don't know what he's talking about with the number nine. So let's go ahead and put in the one through ten on the generator, and we'll generate this number. And it's a number two. Ricardo Mon with the number two. Ricardo Mon, I actually still have all of your information, but if you could go ahead and send that to me again, that would be awesome. Um, I'm going to need your choice of flavor from happyesmoker.com your flavor and nick strength and then uh, you can go ahead and head on over to happyesmoker.com that I just put the link in the room make sure I spell that right Peter one and uh, head over to happyesmoker.com choose 
choose your flavor and your nick strength email that to me at my email address and I'll get that information off to the vendor and we'll get that juice off to you thanks so much for hanging out here at vape on TV we really appreciate you being here alright so let's go ahead and refresh that wow <laughs> Oh, okay. Only 33 cylinders. <laughs> well, for some, Rosendahl, you threw in the number 9, though, shush. So I thought you won in the giveaway. So I started scrolling back up and looking for your number in the giveaway to see what you had. <laughs> so that's what that's what tripped me up. So... Way to go, Ricardo Mon. Thanks so much for hanging out here at Vape on TV. We appreciate you being here. Mmm, beer. That's right. Well, I don't know what a CL is. You said yours are only 33 CLs. But I'm a stupid American, so I don't know what a CL is. Just saying. Flaming Pearl from PB Dragon. That sounds pretty good. I am vaping the... What did I call it? The Casmer from Boondock Vapes. And Shep. Angela, how are you doing, my darling? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out tonight. Lemonberry Muffin from Gen X Vapor. I love it when my peoples come to hang out. Wee! <laughs> oh, a centiliter. Gotcha. My UK veteran swinging through for me. Chunk, I can't wait for you to get that Woody, my friend. I want to hear how much you like it whenever you get it. Well, that's what my beer cans are. Normal soda can, 12 ounces. Or pop. Nope, it's not pop. I don't care what Amy Wamey says. Play what song? <laughs> Dark Moon Dreamer hanging out down in Columbia, where all the good stuff is. <laughs> I'm not fighting this fight again. Thanks, Ricardo Mon. That's awesome. You know I've got my email opened up, and yep, I see it. Wow, I haven't checked my email all day long. Okay, cool. Sorry about that, folks. I got sidetracked. I haven't checked my email all day long. When I looked for Ricardo Mon's email, I saw something. I said, like, ooh, I want to see that. <laughs> you know how it goes. Thank you, Ricardo Mon, for getting that off to me so quick, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Dark Moon, you should just say screw it and buy yourself some plane tickets this year. Come to Vape Bash right now. Me and Amy will make sure you got a place to sleep. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Squirrel! <laughs> I know that game, Dark Moon. I'm sorry, babe. I'd love to see you there. There's so many people that's not going to be there. I wish you all. I wish we everybody could be there. The Bog Fog from Brew City. Yeah, that's some pretty good stuff. It's very smooth. What was that? That was a Cranberry Lime. The bog fog from Bruce City. So, if that's if that sounds like something that's pretty good to you, it's very smooth and it's not overpowering at all. You'll if you like the cranberry lime, give that a shot because that's that's worth vaping. 
Yeah, it takes a while to save it up. Especially Chunk, you coming from the UK, man. You gonna come all the way over here to the US to go to a meet? Excuse me. <clears throat> I know how it is to wait on vape mail, Amy. I loves me some vape mail. Yep, Chunk, come to Chicago. That's what I'm saying. These, you know, I almost call them regional meets because there's kind of, we, we call them national meets, but they're really more regional meets because everybody kind of comes from the area where that meet is, like Chicago. You do have some people that travel a long ways away to come to those meets, but, you know, and but at the same time, I'm glad we've got them. And they give us a chance to get out there and meet some of the people that we've become so familiar with through these rooms and through our forums and things like that. So, the meets are fun. <laughs> it's worth the extra money to fly past New York to Chicago, Amy says. I've never been to New York. I'm in Indianapolis, Chunk. I got a bed for you anytime, my friend. Anytime. Never anything going on in Indianapolis. But you can come crash anytime. <laughs> and coming up here in just a few just a minute, folks, we got the giveaway from juiceray.com. Remember folks, if you head on over to juiceray.com anytime, you get the free shipping. Call them and or hit them up, order their juice. Pay nothing to get it shipped to you. They got the Mint Madness. That's the good stuff. Got lots of good stuff over at JuiceRay.com. If you haven't had a chance, head on over to JuiceRay.com. Check them out. Maybe you find something you like, let them know we sent you over. They love hearing that kind of stuff. I'm both. Come on, Huskins. You can't live in Indianapolis and not be a Manning fan in the first place because he bought a, he brought us a Super Bowl championship ring. And then Andrew Luck, we all knew he was going to be good. You know, they told us he was going to be good. But, you know what? He got us to the playoffs the first year. We didn't expect crap out of our team this last season. And they performed. And it was it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch football. It wasn't like, yep, they're going to win. They got Peyton. They got Reggie Wayne. They got Marvin Harrison. They're going to win. It was fun to watch football with Andrew Luck. Because sometimes they won, sometimes they lost. But they always played their ass off. And it was a good game. So, yep, go Bears, shut it, Amy. <laughs> wow, that's just like one word, huh? Go Bears, shut it, Amy. Yep, I can't separate them. All right, folks, well, it is uh, half past the first hour. It is time for me to bring the little piece of paper back up. Let's go ahead and switch on over to this giveaway screen. It is going to be time for the giveaway from JuiceRay.com. So, if you haven't had a chance to head over to JuiceRay.com, do so. I'm going to put in the start. And we're going to I'm going to refresh this little page here real quick. And down to 27. So I'm going to still I'm going to kick with keep with 30. I know I don't have to move that page, but I'm going to do it anyways. 1 through 30. There's the start. It's going to be one number, one number only. Closest to the number high or low wins. In the event of a tie, we will do a juice off from juiceray.com. Zach Vapor, who usually hangs out here quite a bit, he was in here earlier today. He runs juiceray.com. Guys, definitely want to see you show support for the people who like to hang out. We got brewcity.com that hangs out here, brewcityjuice.com, and we got Zach Vapor from juiceray.com. They like to hang out here in the rooms a lot, and we'd love for you to show them your support. Love seeing all those piffs. You guys are awesome. I love having all you guys hang out. Thanks so much for hanging out here at Vape on TV. That's kind of what these giveaways are all about. We want you guys to know how much we appreciate you being here. nice it's awesome man you guys rock
and the same as with the happy eSmoker.com giveaways I will I will go ahead and uh, PM the winner my email address and that way you can check out their website you can pick out your flavor send me what you want and we can get that all taken care of for you there goes the stop uh, we're gonna go ahead and generate this number and see who wins the juice number six I see garbage fairy with the number five midnights with a seven right off the bat midnights and garbage fairy unless I see a six nope it looks like midnights and garbage fairy with their five and seven let midnights have it garbage fairy thank you so much you are such a dear thank you garbage fairy congratulations midnights midnights I'm gonna go ahead and PM you my email address actually here first is the link from juiceray.com and then here comes as soon as I find your name again my email address in PM head on over to juiceray.com pick out your favorite flavor that you think you'd like your and let me know what your flavor is and your next strength I'm gonna need your name and your address with your you know your choices we'll get that information off to the vendor and they'll get that out to you congratulations midnight and uh, you know if you get the opportunity I'd really like for you to be able to go ahead and send that information to me soon I like to get that all taken care of before the show's over and make sure I've got everything I need but you take your time and make the best selection you can thank you so much for hanging out at vape on TV we really appreciate you being here alright let me get back over to this screen Lots to do, lots going on tonight. And I hate it when the songs always like get quiet. It makes me think my music stopped. But I'm running my own iTunes, so it shouldn't stop. And it won't. Alright, folks. So those of you that watch my show know that since I like to drink beers with you, just like those buddies that do that, I gotta go use the uh, facilities. I'll be right back. <laughs> Have a good time. All right, I'm back. <laughs> My music is very quiet. Well, I can turn that up. Let me see. That's odd that you say that because my music is up quite a bit. Does that sound better? I turned it up some. Congratulations, Midnights. Thanks for hanging out here at Vape on TV. We appreciate you being here.
catching up on the chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, wow. He jumped when I came back. Yeah, I've been told that my mic is kind of loud, but I, that's the first time anybody said anything tonight. I can turn the mic down a little bit. I turned the mic down a little bit. Well, how's that? I turned the mic way down and left the music up. And let's see if that balances out a little bit better. The voice of God. That reminds me of the movie Real Genius. <laughs> Where they implemented that dude's retainer with a receiver and pumped sound into his head. Yes, umbrella drink and vaccine from Brew City Juice are both great. Doing good, Space. Doing real good, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out tonight. I'm uh, just kicking back and having a few beers with my friends. Got uh, some giveaways from Happy E-Smoker and some giveaways from Juice Ray. Second half of the show, we're going to have uh, PJ Allen from BrewCityJuice.com. He's going to be coming on and hanging out, doing some giveaways from BrewCityJuice.com. So it's been a pretty good day. Uh, you know, pretty good show. Having a good time tonight. Holy cow, Chunk. The lava tube you ordered in August arrived two weeks ago. That's that's good shipping. That's good timing. Where would it come from, Chunk, if I can ask? Who shipped that to you? <laughs> Vapor9.com I don't know where they're from, Chunk. Are they an American company? Or are they? You know, I'm not asking you to bash somebody by any means. That's not what I was getting after. I was just wondering, wow, where did was that come from? China? <laughs> that it took three months to get there? <clears throat> <clears throat> no, I don't, Tom. I'm sorry, man. I never even knew that was a thing. Is that a? Can I see that on YouTube? Oh, uh, Jacksonville. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Betty May, how you doing tonight? Thanks for coming out, hanging out with us. Glad you're here. An exciting Easter. Ah oh, ha ha! I saw what you did there. <laughs> that is quite a wild chunk. Tom Nevins got you some YouTube links there, kids. Check them out if you're in for a good time. <laughs> Here in another four minutes or so, we're going to be doing that next giveaway from uh, happyesmoker.com. So, commercial, commercial, plug, 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 happyesmoker.com. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, do so. <laughs> My wife and I will be sitting there watching TV, and every time I see a, a Pepsi or like a Ford emblem on a car, I'll just be like, plug, 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 plug. <laughs> so, yes, shows do rely on plugs, and Happy E Smoker is amazing for supporting our network. So if you haven't had a chance to check out happyesmoker.com, make sure you do so. We love our vendors, and our vendors love our viewers. So it's a happy circle. We love you guys hanging out. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, customer service in this industry especially, with the e-cigs, with the forums, and the Facebook groups and everything... You've got to, your customer service has to outshine your product all day long. I'm sorry, but that's kind of, unfortunately that's the way it is. 
the banana creamy dreamy. Yep, that's going to be the next one I try, Chunk. I've got the Bourbon Street Vanilla here right now. I've been vaping that for a few days, and it's awesome. Um, the banana creamy dreamy. Yep, that's going to be my next one from them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There we go. Yep, that's accurate, folks. Number six. Just saying. Orange Creamy Dreamy is very good, too. I've heard lots of people say they really like that one. Flame Chica, there's a lot more to the post office being financially messed up than just them doing poor service. I'm not going to go into those reasons right now. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> that stinks. Vendors should stay behind their product. They should always do tracking. I'm sorry. I know tracking costs an extra dollar when you do lots of products every day. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But it clears up a lot of things just that easy. Wow, really? It's already time. I taste coconut in that one. What was this one? It's called Monkey Shingles from Boondocks Vapes. And I taste coconut in it. I didn't taste it earlier when I vaped it. It tastes pretty good. It's fruity. has banana in it. But I'd almost bet it's got coconut in it. It doesn't matter. There could be 15 flavors in it and you'd miss all 13 of them. But if there's one flavor in there or something that you're not a fan of, you're going to find it. <laughs> just because I don't like coconut I'll vape this it still tastes good with a touch of coconut in it but they just paid off people's retirement early yeah <clears throat> oh okay number six you counting beers yes Steven I am counting beers buddy I usually start well uh, way back into uh, Spanky's radio show Steven and keep on going Till I run out. Freckles is going crazy. Not a fan of coconut either. I don't like coconut, but man, there's enough chocolate in a German chocolate cake. I'll eat a German chocolate cake. <laughs> I can get past the coconut to get to that chocolate. You know, coconut doesn't offend me that bad. But when it comes to preference, no, I'm going to get a... What, uh... Almond, I'm going to get a Mounds bar instead of an Almond Joy or hell, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get a Snickers bar instead of either one of them because they both got coconut in them. Freckles, you're typing in a foreign language, honey. I don't know what's going on with you. I'm sorry. But it is now time to do a giveaway from happyesmoker.com and we're going to be following that up pretty quickly with our next giveaway from juiceray.com freckles i hope you're typing your numbers in english because we're going to put in a start for uh, happyesmoker.com and i'm going to do one through thirty five this time just to give you guys a little bit of wiggle room I appreciate all you guys hanging out with me tonight. You guys are so awesome. So the giveaway is going to be from Happy East Smoker. It's going to be from your choice of flavor, your choice of Nick's strength. It's going to be 1 through 35. You're one number, one number only. And closest to the number wins, high or low. Who cares? In the event of a tie, we'll do a juice off. Hey, here comes the start. Yeah, Vetty May got it in early. We'll take that, Vetty May. I'm not going to make you put it in again. So, Freckles, I hope you're typing English numbers or something that we can read. Everybody get your numbers in. We appreciate you guys hanging out here at Vapon.tv. And I've got condensation from my beer can all over my desk, so my desk is wet. Now my piece of paper that I write my winter stuff's on is all wet. And 
forget it. You know, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. <laughs> so let's do the flip over to the giveaway screen. <laughs> I'm going to refresh this screen. Flip this to 35. And there we go. We got that all set. Aaron Rodgers is in the house, huh? Tom Nevins. I don't see Aaron Rodgers in the the viewer list. Isn't he a quarterback? I know. I'm just kidding. I know he's the quarterback for the Green Bay Cheeseheads. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Get those numbers in, kids. We're having too much fun tonight. I appreciate you guys hanging out. You guys are awesome. Cheese goes good with beer, don't it, Jamel? I tell my wife that all the time. She's like, dairy with beer? I'm like, what? Give me some cheese and crackers. Throw some sausage on that. I'll eat that with my beer all night long. Yes, cheese is good. <laughs> yep, number 12. Amy Wamey Piffin to Stephen D. Bruce City representing in the house. <laughs> all right, folks. I'm going to get my stop put in. If you haven't got your numbers in, go ahead and get, them, get that done. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot who my giveaway was from. I had to check. <laughs> Alright, there's the stop. Let's go ahead and generate this number and see who won this thing. Number seven. We got numero... Siete. Well, I didn't see any sevens. Of course, Missy has an eight. She's piffing the bird. So do I see sixes or eights to contend with Missy? I kind of don't. Let me scroll back up. Missy is piffing the bird. Cuckoo! And I see no contenders. Everybody, do you agree with me? I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the link for happyesmoker.com, Yardbird. And I am going to PM you with my email address. I'm going to need you to head on over to happyesmoker.com. Pick out your choice of flavor. Email me back with your choice, with your flavor choice, your next strength, your name, and your address. I'll get that information off to the vendor, and uh, he'll get that inf that juice off to you. I know that my vendor over at HappyEsmoker.com, he always takes all his juice wins that he picks up through the week, and he gets those out done on Sunday, gets them out on Monday. So you guys should hopefully receive that juice sometime late next week. But you know, sometimes that juice takes a little while to get there. Congratulations, Yardbird. We really appreciate you here hanging out at Vapon.tv and hope to see you around still for a long time to come. <laughs> Caca! I love it when Bird comes in with his puns. He's always got something fun to talk about. So actually, since my next hour is going to be pretty busy, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip back to this screen, but I'm going to refresh this page and we're just going to jump right into this next one here pretty quick. Actually, I'm going to give Yardbird, I'm going to give Yardbird a few minutes. Yardbird, I can give you a couple minutes, buddy. Go ahead and check out your flavor selection and uh, let me know what you want. I'm going to put a little check next to Ricardo Mon's name. I got his email already. Midnight's. I'm still waiting on your email. Let me know what you want from uh, JuiceRay.com. Got Yardbird the information off to him. I'm going to give him a few minutes to go ahead and take a look before we jump into this next giveaway. That way he's not trying to rush through or whatever. Midnight says he sent it. I might need to do a refresh then, huh?
Hey, I think I see it. You got routed to my junk folder. I'm going to say, not junk. That is not junk. And so now I get midnights. Thank you, midnights. I appreciate that. That's why I like to check back with you after a few minutes. Just to make sure that got sent. And then I find it in my junk folder. What the hell kind of crap is that? <laughs> uh, Jamel, I am vaping on my Provari. And I am vaping on my Vamo with my white carbon fiber wrap from J Wraps on it. In answer to your question, Scarecrow, I'm just going to hold this up here for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He said Vamo. Is there any other mod? Well, yes, there is something besides a Vamo. I have one right here. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I appreciate you hanging out. A lava fire rocket. Yes, I'd like to try one of those, Stephen. That's awesome. I'm probably going to come home with Vape Bash with another mod or two. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm taking some cash and I'm hoping to have a good time. And the several cases of beer I'm taking are going to probably persuade me to buy something. <laughs> a natural with an RSST. I have heard that's a very good setup, Chunk. I'm probably going to be looking forward, looking to get something like that myself. Like I said, I'm saving up. I'm not buying anything. I'm going to try and limp along on what I got till I get to vape bash, and I'm going to go crazy. It's going to be a good time. I agree with you, Scarecrow. The Provari was awesome when it came out. Or, excuse me, I don't know when it came out. When I got it, when I got it, and all I had was an Ego Twist and a Lava Tube, and the freaking Provari just outperformed them both, it was awesome. But I'm sorry, but my Vamo does just as much for me as my Provari ever did. And that's why it's in my hand most of the time. I've heard MVPs are very good, Huskins. So yeah, I'm glad you're liking it. Just got it yesterday. <laughs> buy it. Buy it, Rusty. Buy me one. Come on, buy it. Buy it. I might, honey. Especially if you feed me booze. <laughs> Just saying. Yardbird, really? Already? Fantastic. Sweet. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. You make my job so easy. It's already fun, but the easier it is, the more fun it is. You guys rock. Peer pressure's a motherfucker, ain't it, Amy Wamey? <laughs> yeah, I might end up buying a I might end up buying a box mod or a coffin mod or a GLV. I would like to have a GLV as a matter of fact. I just don't like vaping cardos. A whole lot I don't mind them but I prefer a tank it's just my per my preference um, Wow shit I'm running late so yeah I just prefer tanks I'm gonna jump into this last giveaway from juiceray.com let's see who I got stored here yes I've already got it yes juiceray.com folks if you haven't had a chance to head over to juiceray.com make sure you do so And it looks like I'm going to do, wow, that many. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm going to do 1 through 35. All right, folks, here comes the start. 1 through 35, one number only. Closest to the number high or low wins. This giveaway is courtesy of JuiceRay.com. If you've not had a chance to head over to JuiceRay.com, what's the matter with you? I've told you like 85 times to go check them out. Dang. What's guy got to do? 
Give you away some juice? Okay, we're going to try that too. So, one 10 mil, 12 milliliter bottle, your choice of flavor, your choice of nick strength. I'm going to PM the winner my email address, and you're going to send me back your flavor choice and your nick strength. And then I'm going to need your name and your address, of course, as well. As well. And we'll get that off to the inf that information off to the vendor. We'll get that juice off to you, and everybody will be having a good time. Rosendahl, LOL to you too, my friend. <laughs> I'd love doing my shows. Slurs and all. I didn't stumble over nothing. What are you talking about? Let me drink my beer. <laughs> I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are so awesome. I'm going to switch over to this screen so you don't have to look at me no more. I've already got switched up to 35. I'm going to get my stop ready, folks. I noticed the numbers have slowed down. If you haven't had a chance to get those in yet, just go ahead and do that at your convenience. And we'll get this juice giveaway completed woohoo woohoo my wife always yells at me she's like I could heard, hear you last night going woohoo I heard you you're such an idiot I'm like I don't care I have a good time here's the stop folks <laughs> We're going to go ahead and generate this number and find out who wins this awesome juice from juiceray.com. We appreciate all you guys hanging out with us. Number one, wow, Brew City. I see Brew City very last with the number one on the nose. Does anybody else have a one? All right. Well, Brew City, I'm going to go ahead and PM you with my email address. That's hilarious. Just scroll all the way up here to the top. I'm going to PM you my email address. There's my email address. I'm going to need you to head on over to juiceray.com. Check out their selection. Send me your choice of flavor, your choice of Nick strength, your name, and your mailing address. And then I'll have mine the same way you have, or I'll have yours the same way you have mine. Piff. There's no piffing. All right. All right, Jamel, who do you want to piff to, man? Or is Jamel just trying to tell PJ to piff? <laughs> Congrats, Brew City. Um, yeah, get that stuff off to me in an email. Your name and address, your flavor, your nick strength. We'll get that off to the vendor. We'll get he'll get that off to you. And thanks so much for hanging out and ha hanging out at Bruce at uh, Vapon TV. Good God, I need to take a break. <laughs> I'm not even thinking straight. You guys rock. I don't even know what happened. Everything went all crazy on me. Brew City, that's right. Yeah, that totally threw me off. Awesome, Brew City. There we go. Giveaways are complete. Except for here shortly, we just might have a guest who might have a few giveaways for you. All right. <laughs> piff to pan. Really? You want me to piff to pan? How about you just mail it to pan? Who's pan? There is a pan in the room. Holy crow. Pan, welcome to the room. Thanks for hanging out. Pan does not understand what is going on. Just joined. Well, pan... <clears throat> It looks like I got some changes to make, Pan, in your favor, my friend. You played Monopoly at one point in time or another. Oh, you picked randomly. Well, that's amazing that you picked somebody who just joined Brew City. So, Pan, you played Monopoly. You've gotten the card that says, Bank error in your favor. Collect $200. Well, sweetie, you just collected some juice. Joined at a good time, Pan. That is correct. So, Pan... I am going to need you to head over to juiceray.com. Pick out your choice of flavor and let me know your nick strength. I'm going to PM you my email address. Make sure I spelled it right. I hate spelling my email address. Yes, it's right when I've been drinking. It's fun. Head over to juiceray.com. Pick out your choice of flavor and 
you know then that email address you just got on your screen send me an email at that let me know your flavor choice and your nick strength i'm going to need your name and your address and uh, we'll get that information off to the vendor and they'll send you that juice and it's just our way of telling you how much we appreciate you hanging out here at vapon.tv you rock thanks so much for hanging out here <laughs> how good a timing is that welcome to the room pan <laughs> brew city what a pick congratulations all right folks i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to switch over to this other screen and we're going to see if we can reach out and touch someone i like the little skype ringing noise we'll see if somebody picks up he's probably in the bathroom Awesome, Pan. Well, we're glad you came to hang out. Okay, so I've got to make a few adjustments. I've got to put up, turn off my speakers, and put on my headphones. Got the PBR going. Got the PBR going. Oh, it's fucking up on this piece. That looks real similar to the uh, logo there on the Bruce City Juice. That looks real similar to the uh, logo there on the Bruce City Juice. Oh, Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Good. What up, what up? Hey, how's it going? It's going. Good, good. We're a little delayed here. Could be my internet. But. It might be. And it's I think... Doing. And I remember I told you... My uh, Skype's still trying to load here. I gotcha. And I told you earlier that you weren't going to need the headphones, but I'm hearing a, uh, I'm hearing an echo in my in my show and my headphones. All right. Is anybody else hearing a head, an echo? Anybody out there in viewer land hearing a head, an echo? This is just nuts. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. You got your Milwaukee Brewers hat on. And you got your, your jersey on. Awesome. I'm a huge baseball fan, even though I don't live in a baseball town at all. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on? What's going What's up? We're doing, we're doing. I'm just hearing things about 100 times. That's the echo we're getting. Uh, did you mute the room? Oh, yeah. That's probably where the echo's coming from. Mute, mute the room. You won't be able to hear the music. You won't be able to hear... How's that? That cleared it right up. That's awesome. Okay. Awesome. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing great. Nice. Got some Milwaukee fans in the house. Yeah, hopefully some of our friends came off tonight. Yeah. All right. I see a few people out now. Sam is on. Still got a small delay, but... Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of lag, but at least we don't have the echo like we did. So, yes, Brew City, BrewCityJuice.com is in the house, folks. Everybody give them a nice, warm, vapeon.tv welcome. Hey, Jedi. Yeah, buddy. Let's cut the shit. Do a giveaway. Two 10 mils now. Two 10 mils now. Well, that means i got to take you guys off screen. i got to switch to the other channel. Two 10 mils. What are we doing here? You, their choice of flavor? Or you got them already picked out? Their choice, always. Oh, shit. All right. Cut the shit. We're doing a giveaway, folks. I gotta find. There we go. That's what I need right there. We got. Let me refresh this. Cut the shit. We're doing a giveaway for all 33 of you fuckers. I'm just gonna do one through 40. How's that? So what are you guys up to tonight, man? You guys just hanging out? How are you tonight, actually? Yep. Having a vape. Having a beer? What are you guys vaping on? All right, here's the start. One through 40, folks. Put in your numbers. One number, one number only. Closest to the number wins. BrewCityJuice.com. They're going to give you hell. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm vaping the vaccine. My Darwin. And then, I'm going to be vaping the Vaccine. My uh, AC9 clone. I have a beta flavor, actually. Nice. Yeah. You yeah, actually... Got the Proberry, Cardinal Pine, another beta, little top secret stuff. 
going on tonight. I got the uh, I got the MVP dripping some uh, banana pudding. Awesome. Hey, yeah, we, still, we still made a lot of other vendors too, so you know. Oh yeah. No. Well, it's not any fun to keep it limited to nothing. It's not like when you smoke cigarettes and you had your one brand and you were loyal to that and that's all you got. No, with vaping, yeah. you want it all. That's what I love about vaping. Yeah, I used to be kind of uh, stingy a little bit back in the day, but uh, <laughs> after hanging out with Jamal for the last year, so I've learned to uh, move out of my ways. <laughs> find flavors that you really like, but now I realize that after a while, you're actually kind of. I can out vape certain juices, you know. So right. Shit out quite a bit. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I've noticed that those numbers have slowed down, folks. So if you haven't got all those got your numbers in, please make sure you do so. Uh, they're giving away two 10 milliliter bottles of juice. Your choice of flavor, your choice of Nick's strength. So this is gonna be one you don't want to miss out on. You want to see Brew City? I do too, Vetty May. So I'm gonna put in the stop. Boom, there goes the stop. Let's generate this number and see who wins this juice. Then we can get back and we can meet with Brew City. We can meet with PJ. We can meet with Jamel. We can see what they've got going on. As soon as I quit burping, I can let you know that the winner was 35. And I see a 37 from Rosendahl and a 33 from Captain and Coke. And those are both two away. I don't see anybody any closer than that. Rosendahl and Captain and Coke. Rosendahl and Captain and Coke. We're going to... Sharon had a 34, I'm seeing people say. So let me go back up here and take another look. That's why I love my viewers. Yes, 34 from Sharon. Sharon. So Sharon is the closest with her 34. So there's no 36 or 35. Nice. Thank you, people. I really appreciate your help. Chunkmeister, Ricardo Mon, Missy Vapes, Angshep, Midnights, all you people who's like, hey, dumbass, look again. Yeah, that's all you I'm talking to. Thanks for your help. I appreciate you. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, man. I'm not perfect. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Sharon is the winner. Um, let's go ahead and get back over here and there we go we got you guys back up on screen Sh uh, Sharon's the winner she had the 34 and yes sometimes I do just need to be told hey look again <laughs> that's why I always ask for the help so that was awesome thanks guys right off the bat two 10 mils you rock so what are you guys up to tonight man what is up just hanging out, man. Uh, we had opening day at Miller Park yesterday. I was out drinking hard for that. Off like oh, I bet. I love seeing baseball fans. I don't know if you can see my wall back behind me, and I know you're probably not Cardinals fans, but I got Albert Pujols. I'm, I'm a baseball fan in Indianapolis. No baseball. There's no uh, baseball here. The so are the enemy. Are they? I'm I sorry. Like Cardinals, actually. I'm sorry. Louis, so, uh, hey, man, for me to see a, another... For me to see a baseball fan, I don't care who they root for. I'll hug you. I don't care. There's no baseball fans in Indianapolis. So that's cool. So what's up, man? You guys been working hard all day long? You guys been just kicking back? I uh, have some orders to fill today. Other than that, been doing nothing. I was hanging out with the wife and kids today during spring break. So. Oh, nice. That's a good time of year. Yeah, for somebody. Nice, nice. So everybody, if you're just... I was at my 9 to 5 all day today, too. Gotcha. That's your 9 to 5. <laughs> that, that's the best part of the day, isn't it, PJ? Come on. Uh, getting home is the best part of the day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the best part of my day. <laughs> best, best part of the day. <laughs> best part of the day. <laughs> yeah. Also, some late nights working a regular job, and then... Uh, right. Home, order people, but right, right. So everybody, if you're just joining us, we've got PJ Allen and we've got Jamel here from uh, BrewCityJuice.com. So we appreciate you guys hanging out here with us. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to be here. Yeah, yep. We, uh, really enjoy our vape on a lot. That's Bye. awesome, man. Well, we just we just like to be here for the people and hang out and you know answer questions and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. I know my cam on uh, the Skype is uh, freaking out, so hopefully you guys can still see me on the show or whatever. 
Yeah, we can see your mug. All right. <laughs> Sorry, you have to look at that. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you on the Skype one, but. Mm. Right. Yeah, it froze and then messed up. We're all I... running two computers right now, so. Yeah. Well, I just got the one computer with a couple of monitors and just sitting here doing it, man. I'm not that advanced. Nope. One it's day. pretty simple machine. Maybe it's one day. Cool, but I don't know yeah. what's in for it. <laughs> I might do it someday just to have it. So. Maybe one of these days I'll win the lottery or something. Yeah, actually, I just bought my Powerball tickets tonight. Ready for tomorrow. Yeah. I am, too, because it's back up to, what, 50 now? I don't know. I buy them every Wednesday and Saturday. And <laughs> I never buy them. I only buy them if it's over, up over 100. Uh, my wife yeah, makes fun of me. Play, right? right. My wife makes fun of me, though. Then we talked earlier. We'll have to get together at Day Bash. Uh, everybody else, I'll probably support a Brewer shirt, most likely. Yeah, dude. Now that I know that you're gonna be there, I'm. I was already looking forward to it, but I'm really excited to see you guys there too. Now, well, just you though. I know you said Jamel wasn't coming. Well, I'm, I'm debating, it, man. They're twisting my arm hard. Well, he yeah, he. Been twisting them hard. P PJ told me you said you thought you were too good to come hang out with the likes of us, <laughs> and that that's cool, man. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, no, it's a uh, it's a work issue for me. My vacation is kind of screwy the way they do our vacation. I'm right uh, there with you, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Man. I'm thinking about it. Well, hopefully you're able to make it. If not, man, there's always next year. Oh, it's yeah. just nice because it's close for us. It is. See, and that's the same way I feel about it. You know, New York, Texas, Florida—that's all real far away. But I'm in Indianapolis. You guys are in Milwaukee. You no, know? well. Minnesota, excuse me. I know you're not Milwaukee, but uh, yeah, we're Milwaukee. We're Milwaukee. <laughs> okay. Well, it shows you what I know. I I would have swore. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Chunk Meisters. No, they're they're liars over in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> they're liars over in Minnesota. <laughs> well, you know they claim the whole ten thousand lake thing, but a lot of people don't know Wisconsin has over fifteen thousand. So. Oh wow. They they can have their license plate. It's cool. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but uh, over here at Miller Park for the Brewers tailgate at the game, so it gets pretty outrageous. You get the sausages and the whole nine yards going on the barbecue and everything, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep. See, you guys weren't here around Christmas. You don't know about my wife's pork sausage, do you? Ooh, oh, man. Because my woman sure can make good pork sausage. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm bound by contract to throw that in at least once a show. <laughs> Two-week-old at Christmas, so it was a. Oh wow! It was a long one for sure. Well, congratulations, yeah. man. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a new dad. Yeah, we're working on our first, so congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Yeah, it's been a trip. Yep, yep. So, so you guys are here hanging out, and I didn't want to have completely, you know, like nothing to talk about, even though we we're getting along just fine, but. Uh, <laughs> I've got a couple of questions to ask you guys, if you guys don't mind answering a few. Sure. Well, so, uh, and yeah. we're, we'll start off with a few easy ones. Uh, how long have you guys been vaping for? Uh, well, I've, I've been vaping since last May. Mm-hmm. So, I'm getting close to that one year mark. Getting close, yeah. I'm an addict, though. I got so much shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see mine. I've been vaping since July, so I'm just right behind you, man. Yeah, I'm more of a juice board than anything. I got so much juice. Oh my god. Yep. I think sometimes people mistake vendors for only vaping their own juice sometimes, but no, not not what happens for sure. No, you can't put on the blinders, man. There's a lot of good yeah. stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even that. You know, they got that expensive stuff at uh, Vape Revolution, the Standard, and the Jameson. Hey, I'll give it a whirl. Right. You know, we were talking about that earlier. You know, I mean. People live that kind of lifestyle, and uh, it's it's normal for them, you know. So, I mean, that's uh, some cool labeling, and you know, it's pretty good stuff too. I enjoy it. Right. Yep. That's good stuff. One of my all-time favorites has always been Roar Vapor. Nice. I really ever heard of them? But they're now Roar Vapor. They had a little dispute, I believe. But oh, really? One of my favorites, and you know, actually, Mike, I met him at a meet, and uh, he's one of the people I talked to that. 
helped me want to start DIYing, and yeah, you know, we chatted quite a bit. He was at one of the uh, Chicago meets. I've gone to a few. Uh, yeah, Chicago meets that it's pretty close. So a lot of nice people in Chicago. They got a pretty big meet every month. You know, really, fifty people at least every month. I might have to try to make it up to one. It's fun out there. Of course, I'm going to make it up there here next week. <laughs> yeah, I can't no, wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Awesome. Jamel, you're gonna miss out, man. Oh, stop it! Yeah, I'm, stop I, to I'm bringing, I'm bringing five cases of beer, my friend. Five? That's it. Well, <laughs> well, my buddy who's coming with me, he doesn't drink. Oh. Well, he's not gonna drink my beer anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time, man. I hope to see you there. If you can't make it, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have a good time. We'll see what happens. I still got time. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, so what happened with you guys? What uh, what made you decide to get into vaping? Um. Well, actually, me and PJ have a mutual friend. My uh, my foreman at work. They grew up together. So that's how I got introduced to vaping was through uh, my foreman at work, and then I he pointed me to PJ because, you know, he couldn't answer all my questions. He's not very techy with the vaping, you know. Right. So me and PJ met, and, you know, we hit it off right away. He sold me a mod about a week after we met and been friends and, you know, partners ever since. That's all it took was his first mod, and it's over. After he, he was hooked, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. You know, that's how I was. I'll be three years in August, so... Um, you know, I've been around for a decent amount of time. To yeah. Work. You know, I mean, stuff, it's been such a long way. Yeah, that's you know, awesome. Even, you know, a couple of years ago. I remember when the first lava tube came out, it was like, oh, that big thing. <laughs> but, you know, because when you first start vaping, you know, you, go, you you turn for the smaller devices, you know. And you never think you're going to walk around with this big honking thing in your hand. But, right. Yep. You know, my Darwin comes everywhere with me now, so. Yeah. You know, to deal with it. I've heard Darwin's are good devices, man. You just can't... They're hard to find. Yeah, and you know, I don't know how many they're going to make anymore. You know, it's it's not that it's falling behind, but, you know, technology is getting, you know, a lot more advanced as we come along here. So, but it's always going to be a very sought-after device. And I was lucky enough to get a hold of one. You know, it took me almost two years. <laughs> yep. They're sought after. I was like, what the heck is that thing? You know, I actually was at a Windy City meet and decided to not get in the raffle for it because I didn't know what the heck it was, you know? Oh, wow. A couple months later, I'm like, what was I thinking? Why didn't I do it? Wow. So. I finally got a hold of one, and I'll never get rid of it. Right. So, Jamel. The whole mechanical, rebuildable stuff a lot, but. Yep. You know, there's always going to be something about a cargo tank and a, and a regulated device. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got some mechanicals and some rebuildables, but you know how it is. Sometimes you just don't quite got the knack for it. <laughs> I'm yeah, working. Time and I'm, I'm working on it. I've, I all my viewers already know I've got them, and they're sitting right here. I mean, it's it's right here, and I'm gonna put it together one of these days. <laughs> so we've got we've got Jamel who bought a mod and some juice from PJ. So. From that, how did it blossom? What made you guys decide to say, hey, we've got a thing going here and we should uh, maybe open up a little shop? Well, how just talking and, you know, getting to know each other and everything, he was already doing some DIY stuff and it was something I wanted to get into because uh, I, I work with chemicals for a living, so for me it was just kind of, you know, an easy thing to do. So, yeah. So then we tried a couple different flavors and... Um, we took them to a, a big meet that we had here in Wisconsin at the Wisconsin Vapors Meet back in October. And a bunch of people tried them, and, you know, everybody's like, so when are they going to be for sale? So we went to work and started making some other stuff <laughs> and tried some other stuff, and here we are. One yeah, second. I was telling James earlier, you know, we, uh, we haven't really gone around and done a whole ton of marketing or anything, you know, because we are, you know parents and we have full-time jobs and so, right. so um, it was more a way to get it to the locals and it kind of blossomed from there we said screw it let's open a website and it's awesome that's the way great things start, start. It's awesome so you know we're just here to help people out and you know we use the most high quality stuff that that we can and uh you know 
it's you, you first start vaping, you get some Chinese bologna. You don't know what's in that stuff. You start going to the mall and picking up who knows what. Decaying. Start to understand what actually goes into it, and uh, you know it's nice to know what's going into the juice and in and, and the confidence we have and that's true. The top quality products that we have. You know, so. That is true. People, and, you know, we like to pump up the flavors. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> you know, have so many different flavors out there that you know, everybody can experience a little bit of everything. I would think, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, vaccine that's been the hit so far. I've seen your guys' site. You guys got what, 15, 15 different flavors? Yeah, something like that right now. We're going to be releasing probably two or three in the next week or two. Well, see, that's that that to me is the sign of somebody who believes in their flavors. I've been on some sites. I've seen some vendors who have 80 flavors, 150 flavors. Hey, we've got 200 different flavors of juice on our site. Did they really sit there and do their best to perfect each and every one of those flavors? I know what you mean. And I've no, when I go to a site that's got 15 flavors and they're all unique and uniquely named and umbrella drink and vaccine and bog fog and, you know, I know those guys spent some time to sit there and perfect their juices and give you the best that they've got. So that's awesome. That's what like me, me personally, I, you know, I buy, I buy a ton of juice. I buy more juice than anything else. Baby. <laughs> so yep. if, if I go on a website to buy juice, you know, somebody says, oh, I love juice from so-and-so's website. If I go on their site and all I see is strawberry, pineapple, great. I don't even buy. Right. I can make, I can make straight single flavors in my sleep. I could, you know, I could get my 11-year-old son to make those. Right. And that to me is like, you know, just somebody throwing some juice out and saying, okay, here. You know, we wanted, we wanted to bring something that was a little, little different, a little unique. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of where we're at. You know, we want, we want juices that people remember and think about. And, you know, when they exactly when they site, we want stuff that, you know, is going to jump out and, you know, people are going to think about it. Crack a pow. Yeah, this is their juice. Yep, and that's why too we use a couple of local names for some of them, you know, because uh, you know the locals like that, and you know we like to get a lot of their input too on a lot of our juices. That's awesome. So it helps, uh, you know, like, like you said, we don't just make a juice and the next day you just release it. Oh, this is good. I mean, you got there's steep time involved, and yep, that goes into the fact that everything is you know made to order because you know it's got to be consistent. So right. I would have just got jugs of vaccine laying around and we're pouring bottles, you know. <laughs> Can I have one of those? Five mil, by the ten mil. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. So do you guys have a storefront or is it strictly an internet storefront at this point? Right now it's just all online stuff. Okay. Um, we, we've, we've discussed some things with a few brick and mortars, you know, some guys we know in our area. You know, in the local Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin area. Yeah. Um, it's it's still kind of far off. We're not ready to do you know wholesaling or anything like that right now. But right. It, it's definitely on the horizon. You know, it's something we're looking into. Well, if you want to open up at a brick and mortar in Indianapolis and you need somebody to run your shop, just <laughs> let just let me know. <laughs> you, you'd be the first guy on the list. <laughs> I'd be all for it. That's awesome, man. Because you know we're uh, we're in Milwaukee, but we're not downtown. It's like you know, <coughs> to be able to be downtown would be really cool as far as foot traffic and stuff. Yeah, that'd be huge. Like we said, we're we're small time for now, you know. Yeah. You know our our few uh, purchasers and uh, you know a lot of you guys, and you know we send juice to a lot of different you know meets that contact us for you know so they can try and. You know, we got we've been in the vaping community while we know you know it's just, it's not that huge of a community, so a lot of people know a lot of people, you know. Yeah. I mean, if it's just knowing somebody's name on Facebook, you know. I right. Have to see somebody at Vape Fest and be like, "Hey, PJ, I'm Jedi." Like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" You know? Right. Exactly. It's great. It's last yep. When I met, you know, I mean, I've never met a community like this in my entire life. I don't not think once. I don't think any other community I, exists. I don't, think it exists. I don't care what it is. I don't. I, I agree with you 100%. There's no knitting club. There's no <laughs> There's no cross stitch. Come on. Yeah. I mean, my mom goes to a scrapbooking club, but <laughs> like we do it. You know? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they should. It'd make it easier. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you know, when you go to these big meets, if anybody hasn't gone to them, I mean, everybody is so nice at these meets. It's just great. And the vendors are so helpful, and it can be pretty overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. Thank you, Samazon. And they're a blast, you know. And, and it is nice to see, you know, some of those celebrity status type of, you know, people, Grim Green and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, yep, it's, just, yep. it's just to meet people. Hell, I, I live in town with the Almighty God Himself. I live in town with Dwayne Green. Yeah. How, how hard is it for me to not... The coolest guys ever. I, mean, I need to go sleep on his front porch until he teaches me how to rebuild my agate. Yeah, seriously, you should check your truth at his house. And be like, you. I keep telling you, let me know when you're having a garage sale. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne's the man when it comes to the rebuildables, man. That, that dude is awesome. He knows his stuff, yeah, man. Stuff. Of course, we got Hill Giant here at Vape on TV. He's a good guy too. So, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah he <laughs> got to plug our own guy a little bit here too. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you to the wolves for a second, if you don't mind. I need to go use the facilities, so I'm gonna be. I'll be right back. I'm good. All right. I apologize. It's all right. It's cool. Not a problemo. So what is everybody vaping tonight anyways? Let's hear it. Oh yeah, by the way, if anybody received their sample bottle with the label upside down, that was purposely <laughs> done. <laughs> I don't know if people realize that. We need some music in here, that's what we need. I wish I could do it, but I don't know. Can they even hear me? Are people like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Fog, That away, Ma. Who's Tom? Who's Tom Nevins, anyways? Tom Nevins. Interesting. I don't know who that guy is. Tom Nevins. I know a guy named Ma. Fuck. No, Ma. I know <laughs> Ma. Let's see where everybody's from, too. Is everybody right where they're from? I'm always curious to where people are from. I'm trying to figure out uh, if I can fix this leg a little bit. Yeah, sorry for eating. New Dude. Mexico, Texas. Bacon jerky. Made right here in Wisconsin. Sorry. Bacon jerky, that's right. It's very good. You want to know what I had for dinner tonight? Jamel brought over frog legs for dinner. It was awesome, actually. I, I didn't I couldn't believe how good they were. They were as big as bigger than a chicken wing. It was like fish mixed with chicken. All in one. Best of both worlds, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable. And the perch, whew, unbelievable. Okay, why do you say yuck? <laughs> hey, if you like bacon, bacon jer jerky is awesome. It's like bacon whenever you want bacon. I or is she saying yuck to the frog legs? I don't know. Yuck frog legs or yuck bacon? Washington, Houston, Wonderland. Oh, my gosh. Wonderland looks awesome. Pac-Man. Baltimore? Baltimore. Baltimore. Gotta love Baltimore. You ever seen the show The Wire? I am back, folks. That's legit. That show scared the baloney out of me. Uh-oh. What what I miss out on? Bacon. Bacon is good. I was going to make a bacon juice. I was going to make a beer juice, but Jamel said absolutely not. No, we're not making a beer juice. No beer juice? We're Bruce City. Don't say no. Don't say no. Walk. Oh. We need a PBR. Come on. Oh. I'm you, it can be done. Yeah. I'd have to, like, uh, it'd have to, like, fruit in the beer type of a deal. Like I've got to say, though, PJ, I mean, I agree with Jamel. I don't think that I'd probably vape it. <laughs> but if it was sent for a sample, would you try it? I would definitely try it, but. J but PJ, yeah. what what would a beer vape taste like, my friend? I don't know. To be honest, I have some steeping right now. <laughs> Do you? I'll I'll, I'll try it. I at least a month. I will beta that. test that. You know that I can drink some beer. I'll beta test that for you. All right. Well, I'll send it out with your next order here. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Oh, anytime. <laughs> anytime. 
it's upstairs. So I don't have it. <laughs> I just opened this beer. When I came back from the restroom, I grabbed another beer so I wouldn't have to uh, turn around and get one out of the fridge. So I still got this beer. But I just opened that beer, so I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> so how, is, uh, how has been running the shop been working out for you guys? I mean, has it been tearing? I know you guys both have families, both have full-time jobs. Has it been demanding or overwhelming? Um, well, it, it, it has its ups and downs, you know. Mm -hmm. We picked up on, you know, normally the weekend and uh, right around the beginning of the month, you know, things get kind of hectic. Um, you can we, tell when people get paid, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're we trying to do our best to keep up, you know, with the orders and what, you know, people want. Yep. You know? And, I mean, other than that, it, it's, I don't know, it's, it's something we want to do, though. So for us, it, it, That's it, awesome. It, that's fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's it's awesome. Like, uh, it's not like it's a chore or anything like that. No, right. You get to get home from work. You get home from work and you do your hobby. My hobby is making juices. You know, it comes in it's like, ooh, what this person order? You know, that's what's nice about having, you know, 15 15 flavors. Good right. Time. Yeah. You know, it's fun to be like, oh, all right. They got, you know, and what we like to do too is sometimes, you know, if somebody orders more of the dessert flavors, I'll try and send a dessert flavor as the, um, you know, as a sample, you know. Like a like, sample, yeah. But we have a, quite a lot of fruity stuff because, frankly, we're just fruity guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Well, you know, like me, when I first started vaping, I went for the fruity flavors. I went for the sweet stuff. I didn't go for tobacco flavors because I was trying to quit smoking. I was trying to get away from the tobaccos. Um, there's no tobacco flavored ice cream. There's no cigarette flavored <laughs> chewing gum. So to see a site that just has, you know, tries to concentrate on the sweet flavors, that's somebody I'm going to focus on because that's what I look for. I don't care if it's a sweet fla a sweet vape, a, f a fruity va vape, a dessert vape. You know that that sweet type of vape. That's what I'm looking for. We got it for you, man. Yep, I know that vaccine is amazing. Yeah, that's. Vaccine, that was actually one of the first juices I ever made when I started doing DIY. Really? Yeah. Uh, it, it had a strange name. When I first made it, I called it Perry Straw Nuts. I'm sorry, what? Perry Straw Nuts. Perry Straw Nuts. Yeah. See, and just that alone, I was going to ask you to not divulge any secrets, but what is in that? Okay. So... Can't get secrets. There's I, the only thing I'll tell you about vaccine is it has pear and coconut. Other than that, I, I won't tell you anything else. It's going to the drink. It has pear and coconut. It has coconut. They like the vaccine. You you said coconut. There's yeah. coconut in it, yeah. Wow. And I don't know if you heard just a, just a little bit ago. I said this juice has coconut in it. I'm not a big fl fan of coconut, but I'll vape it anyways because it tastes good. I didn't get. I didn't get coconut at all in vaccine, and I loved the vaccine. It was great. See, and that's but see, that's that's the trick with making juices. You you know, you you can find blends of flavors where you can hide something, and it comes out a certain way. You know, when you bake it. Yep, yep. A lot of stuff doesn't go together like you would think it would. Um, that's why sometimes I have trouble with some of the vendors that let you create your own juice. Yeah. Because how do you know what that's going to taste like? You know what I mean? And That's true. I mean, it's fine, you know, but it's sometimes it's hard because I would think the customers then might be like, oh, this doesn't taste very good, you know, because sometimes instead of flavors meshing together, they overlap each other and it turns into blocks. A mush. A mush, yeah. yeah. That makes perfect sense. I've had that yep. with my own DIY, but I've had that. Hey, Jedi. Yeah, buddy. Let's do a giveaway. I knew you were going to say that. What's up? What do we got now? I got a 30 mil. A 30 mil. All right. Mil. Now, let me ask you this real quick. I know that uh, Sharon won the last giveaway. Did you guys PM Sharon and get everything squared away, or do I need to collect that information? Um, you, how about this? I, I think an easier way for us to deal with that is for them to PM you, and that way when we get the emails from you, I, I can keep a, we can keep a better eye on them. Because I, I got confused last week with some stuff, and I almost sent double orders out. So. We'll let them come from you. 
Okay. So before we start this first giveaway, Sharon, I just e uh, PM'd you my email address. Now, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. That last giveaway, you said two 10 mil bottles, right? Uh, viewer's choice of flavor, viewer's, viewer's choice of Nick's strength. So, Sharon, head over to uh, BrewCityJuice.com and uh, check them out. Pick out two flavors and email those to me. I, I didn't know how if you guys are going to PM her or not. That's why we haven't gone through this part yet. So, Sharon, head over to BrewCityJuice.com. Pick out two flavors. Email those to me with your choice of Nick strength, your name and address. I'll get that off to the vendor. We'll get that stuff, juice off to you as quick as we can. Thanks for hanging out. And I did not forget about you. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we had that all squared away. So, so now we've got a giveaway from BrewCityJuice.com. We've got a giveaway for one 30 mil bottle. Is that what you said, Jamel? Let's do a 30 mil. Let's, let's go big tonight. We're going to do big. All right, you guys know that whenever I do a giveaway, I've got to take you off screen. But uh, So it's going to be... I'd, go ahead. I'd be willing to ship to Canada. I'll, Dang, chef, yeah. I'll ship it personally. I won't ship it to the website. I'll ship it personally. Hey, it's still order for you. We had somebody uh, place an order from Brazil, and uh, we had to contact him because you can't uh, you can't sell nicotine to Brazil. It's just illegal. Wow. <coughs> so if you're in Brazil, excuse me, you can't send you juice. But in Canada, I think we can do that. No problem. That's awesome, guys. We, I have a lot of vendors who, uh, you know, just U.S. only. Just keep it simple, but. You know, that's how you know you got guys that care. They're, if you want our hey, juice, we're going to send it to you. Canada, eh? yeah, we're <laughs> there. Hey, there, hey. We play in okay, snow I'm nine... I'm from Canada, you know? You play in snow nine months of the year, don't you? There you go, yeah. We had a, we had a pretty good winner this year. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and put in this start. Like I said, it's going to be for one 30 mil milliliter bottle of juice from BrewCityJuice.com. It's going to be one number, one number only, closest to the number, high or low wins. In the event of a tie, we'll do a juice off. And we're going to do one through 45. BrewCity.juice.com is bringing in the viewers. we got 45, enough for me to do one through 45. That's my biggest giveaway in quite a while. You guys are bringing them in. You rock. Thanks for hanging out. Of course. Hey, we try. Give away 30. You know they'll like it. That's right. These giveaways are just our little way of telling all you viewers how much we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We love you guys, and our viewer, our uh, vendors does do too. So thanks so much for being here. Yeah, and we do offer different uh, menthol strengths too. If you guys are interested in menthol, don't forget to add that if you're interested. Now, is that something you guys like? Have dedicated menthol flavors? Like this is our menthol flavor, or? You cannot get it added, but most of them, um, there's a, an option to add menthol. And you have either Cool, which is just a little bit of menthol, and we have Blizzard, or uh, was it Arctic? Arctic, Arctic, which is uh, pretty over the top menthol. So. I got gotcha. you. Okay. See, I, I, I found for myself, you know, I never liked the little peppermints that you get at the restaurant. I never smoke menthol cigarettes. Anything that has mint or is menthol or is peppermint in any way, it's kind of not my thing. So, all right. Now I know what not to send you. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know why. For some reason, it's just never. It's always been like, wow, wow. You know, and so it just always hit me wrong. <laughs> well, but see, you know what, menthol is, is a tricky. It, it's interesting because there's people that that uh, that say they never smoke menthol cigarettes. I think yes, Amy, if I remember right. Amy Wamey, yes. But. When you start vaping, menthol does a little something to certain flavors. Yes. Uh, it, it, can, it can bring the flavor to a whole different level. Now, see, because I love my, my uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I had a perfect mint chocolate chip vape. It tasted just like the mint chocolate chip ice cream, and I couldn't vape it. It was it was awesome. It was good. It, it, it tasted exactly like the ice cream I love to eat, but I, I couldn't vape it. I don't know why. Yeah, I think a lot of people's palates are different too. Like our newest juice, uh, the Sweet Escape, that yep. is like to me, it's a Mounds bar to the T. Right. It tastes exactly like a Mounds bar to me. But you know, a lot of times, some certain people have different palates. You know, so. Yep. Just like uh, Samazon. Samazon here loves that cold vape, and that's yep. that's kind of. I'm a big menthol fan. See, when we first yep. made our large 
you know, batch. We we probably made you know 110 mil bottles and brought them to uh, one of our meets, and we made them in you know the menthol level that we enjoy to bake. Right. Yep. And we didn't tell everybody that. You know, we just said here it is. You know, and uh, a few people were like, wow. You know, once we told them there was menthol in it, because you know we didn't want them to place an order. And then be like, oh, by the way, you know, there was menthol in those. Now, right, right, yeah. I was like, yeah, see, you actually liked it, you know. So, you know, I got a couple people that are ordering it with menthol now that used to not smoke any or vape any type of menthol. So. Right, right. All right, guys. You need it, certain ones don't. Yeah. That's because I got magic hands, and I can make menthol do amazing things with juice. <laughs> well, you might send me some of your concoctions then. Maybe I'll give them a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Mel is the e-liquid formulation expert. At right. Juice. That's right. I've heard you say that before. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put in this stop, and we're going to see who wins this juice. I'm going to take you guys off cam for a second. So here's the stop. Let's go ahead and switch over to the giveaway. And I said, I'm going to have to scroll back up to see what I said I'd give it to. 45. I, I said 1 through 45. So I've got to switch over here to this. Switch that to 45. Actually, I've got to refresh it first, then switch it to 45. Sorry, guys, I'm a little slow. I'm having too much fun with these guys tonight. And it's two. Really? One through 45. And I, didn't I have a one just a few minutes ago? Two. All right. It's two. Ooh. I see a four with a piff to Chica and a. F oh, two. Chunkmeister. Chunk now, now nobody asked. You guys said that you would send to uh, Canada. Uh, Chunkmeister is in the UK. Chunkmeister is in the UK. Which I actually yeah. just, I actually just sent something to Chunk earlier today. It's yeah, not any different. Well, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's not any different than sending to Canada. Congratulations, the Chunk. In Brazil didn't allow us to send juice there. That's all it was. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, I sent. Uh, I ordered juice from the UK myself. I sent a mod to Chunk Chunk as today, as a matter of fact. So Chunk, I'm gonna send you my email address, buddy. Even though I've already got your mailing address, but I'm gonna need you to send me your choice of flavor. Head on over to BrewCityJuice.com. Brew City Juice. I was burping when I said it. It kind of sounded the same. I, I'm sorry. So the, I was away. The winner is from the UK. Yeah, he's he's in Wales. So, tell me this. How about we trade for some uh, Grant's Vanilla Custard? I got I got more juice I can send you. I need some more Grant's. <laughs> Chunk, are you hearing this? In the UK, I mean, you can get it. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Chunk, I hope you're hearing this, my friend. Head on over to BrewCityJuice.com, buddy. You just want a 30 milliliter bottle of juice. Let me know your choice of flavor and choice of Nick strength, and uh, we'll get that off to you. You can't hear. What can't you hear? Can you hear me talking, Chunk, or can you not hear the guys? You guys are. I hear you guys over there. You're making my music. I hear. I hear those bottles. That's my music. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for being here. Anytime, man. Enjoy it. A little bit. Represent. That's right. Beer capital over here. Beer, cheese. We got it. Cheese, huh? <laughs> oh, I see my boy Maptech showed up. What's up, Rob? Oh, Rob's in the house. Chunkmeister says he's got a question. What's going on, Chunk? What's your question, buddy? So I need to write these down, huh? Yeah, get your pen out. I got to. I gotta keep. I gotta keep all this stuff straight. I didn't even write down that Sharon won your guys' first giveaway, and now Chunk. I know you guys down south there in uh, Indianapolis like to take it slow. Yeah, we like to relax and just keep things simple. You watch the show, The Middle? I do not. Oh, come on, man. It's in Indianapolis. Is it really? Yeah. 
I don't watch. Like, uh, I don't. Man, I gotta be honest with you, dude. My wife sits out there in the living room and watches TV, dude. I sit here back here every night and watch vape on TV and hang out and drink beer and that's what I do. We don't have TV per se. She watches Netflix. That's all we've got. We've got no cable, no satellite. We watch Netflix, and my wife watches some dumbass shit. You want to know what? No, no, no. Jamel, Jamel, you have no clue, my friend. You want? My wife is at home with the kids watching, so I'm not saying nothing. No. Dude, you want to know what my wife, before she left out of here, she says, okay, I'm going to watch Netflix. You want to know what she told me she was going to watch? This should be interesting. She's watching a documentary on butter sculpting. Butter sculpting? <laughs> See, I would watch that probably. I mean, come on now. Hey, you sure she's not from Wisconsin? <laughs> Okay, I've got to ask a question. Um, I'm still trying to figure this out. Okay. Who's Leonard? Chunk. No, it's not I'm drunk. I'm trying to figure out who... <laughs> uh, I said Chunk. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who sent... I think Yardbird sent me his email. And I'm waiting on an email from Pan. For my, for my, yeah, from my last last hour giveaways, and then I still haven't gotten anything from Sharon or Chunk. Which Chunk, he just got his. So Sharon should be sending you something soon. She, I think she's a little confused. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I just, I just, I gotta keep. You know, I like to drink the beers, so I definitely want to make sure I keep all that giveaway stuff straight. <laughs> you know. I gotta make sure they get what's coming to them. Otherwise, it's not a good time for everybody. Just my game. That's cool. We got your back. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight, man. That's awesome. I've not really had any inter interviews, no co hosts like this, so you guys rock. I appreciate you being here. Oh, yeah. Hey, I've been looking forward to this for a couple days now. It's pretty cool. Nice, man. Well, I'm having a good time. I'm having a real good time. I appreciate you being here. So, what do you guys vape on? What's your What's your favorite setups? I know, you, I know. PJ said you got the Darwin, because yeah, come on. Uh, I, I, I use the Darwin out and about every day usually, but I have that like case for it, mm -hmm. like a cell phone case. So. Yep. Um, but otherwise, you know, I got a, quite a range. You know, I got a couple Evix, a Pro Vary, a couple Mechanicals. You know, I kind of got a little bit of everything set up. I've been really digging those new uh, Evod. Yep. The Evods, yep. I've yeah, seen those. They pump out the vapor. That's basically Evod and a Vision Spinner is what I've been turning all the recent noobs to lately that uh, come to me for help. That's awesome. Yep, those are good pieces. Tape, it's easy. You fill it up and, you know, I mean, I'm always going to be a Cardo Tank lover. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I like all types of vape, but for whatever reason, I like the taste of a Cardamine. End of story. Hey, that's awesome. You know, I mean, I'm always going to vape cardo tanks, but yep, everything kind of interests me. So. Now, now, do you guys look into expanding into having some hardware like cardos or anything, or are you just going to be juice for now? Or um, it, that that part of it is, is way down the road. Um, okay, that we're, makes we're sense. Still, we're we're still trying to get our feet on the ground with the juice. You know, it's it, it's been a it's, these last two months been quite a ride, man. To be honest, I mean. Going into this, we didn't we didn't think we were gonna make any money. We didn't think anybody <laughs> was gonna buy juice. You know, we just thought, okay, our Wisconsin friends are gonna buy some juice, and you know, it'll just right. pay for stuff. We're just gonna share with our friends, and they'll pay yeah. for our supplies. Right. Yeah. And you know, in the last couple of weeks, you know, March. To be honest, March was a great month, man. We're we're just looking forward to the future, and you know. Nice, we're man. To, we're trying to keep it. You know, we're trying to keep going and bring out new stuff on a regular basis, and. Give people what they want, man. People want quality. You know, that's, that's right. That's one of the things that, you know, we're trying to bring is a, yes. a quality product that's going to be consistent, the same. Yep. Every time you get it, you know, you can order a vaccine tomorrow, and you can order it six, six months from now, and it's going to be the same juice, I guarantee you. I, I, stand, I stand by my product 100%. But to answer your question that's about, awesome. about setups, um... Let's see. I, I got an Evic. I just I just got an MVP 
for next to nothing last week. I got that for like 35 bucks. So I've been using that knife stuff. I love that little box. Nice. Um, I got a Proberry. I got a couple uh, nice Chinese mechanicals. <laughs> can I can can I interrupt you for one second? Oh yeah, Chunk. I'm gonna need you to send that to me in an in a email, dude, buddy. I uh, I sent you my email address, so I'm gonna need you to send that to me in an email, and we'll get that off to you. Um, I don't know your Nick strength, so I know everything else about you. But yeah, just send that to me in an email. We'll get that off to you. And guys, I apologize oh, for the interruption. Not come tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, let me check my tracking as we're speaking. Um, but, uh, Mr. Make Me Jealous. Show me the but yeah, uh, you know, we, we got a pretty you know pretty decent selection of mods between the two of us. Yeah. You know, we both use cardo tanks heavily, you know, but we got the rebuildables and, you know, we got drippers and everything else. I mean, you name it, we've had at least one or two of them to try and break them. So. Right. Oh, you know, I, I sometimes get a little too into the numbers. Yeah. And, oh, I, I do, too. I like to everything and, you know, get all technical. But, you know, when you get over that a little bit, you <laughs> certain things, they just fine. You know? I've, got, I've got the Ohm's Law uh, app on my phone. Hey, there you go. So, yeah, I know all about getting a little too technical. People say, just okay. turn it up or turn it down. You know, adjust a little bit. But see, I, I had to get him out of that habit. He wants, he wants everything to be perfect, and you know, it's supposed to be perfect. Well, no, it, it's you know what? To be honest, perfect is what you want. You know, what do you want? You know, like right now, what do you? Okay, what do you have on that device, and what do you have to set up? This is my Provari. I have uh, Cashmere on here, and I've got it set at nine watts. I always keep all of my mods set at nine watts, whether it's my Provari that. Is only VV or my Vamo that's variable wattage. It's always I, nine nine watts. I, I can't vape anything that high, personally. I I vape, you know, most most juices, most things I vape. Um, wattage wise, around eight point five is the high end. Um, but voltage, I'm a four two four three guy. You yep. Know, two, two ohm cardos and you know, but everybody has what they like. You know, to me, at nine watts, everything tastes like. Burnt sugar. <laughs> you know, yep, yep, yep. I've had that. I've had that. Yeah, it depends too. You know, like I mean, don't get me wrong. I build my rebuildables a uh, you know twenty eight gauge can ball with a three wrap. You know, but same thing though. You know, eight and a half watts on a cardo tank is just a great thing. Yep. You know, you can't go wrong. Nice. With Especially with some fluid. Put some fluid at eight and a half watts. Oh my god. Yeah. You liking the fluid, huh? I'm, oh yeah, we're both freaks about it actually. Nice. I'm trying to stockpile fluid right now. Are you really? The fact is, is they've only been releasing it in 20 milligram, which, you know, I'm a 12 guy, so 20 is just a little bit too much. Especially because I vape it in a Genesis atomizer, so, I mean, that's just way out of control. So, I don't know, I just got a, a, 20, a 30 mil out of the last batch, and I'm thinking about putting up a or something, but at the same time, I, I have to have my fluid, I, I have to admit. Yeah. Something I have to have. Oh, I can't blame you there. Can't blame you there. Even if I found out it wasn't good for me, I'd probably still make it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that's going to... You're, you're not going to find no, anything like that out. Yeah, nothing. No, there's not going to be. I'm just but, saying a lot of people talk, oh, it's green and whatever. Yeah, it's green. You they know got, what food coloring is? It's there's, PG. <laughs> <laughs> there's coloring in that. It's going to make you sick. Yeah, no, not at all. I'm my feet... My feet used to turn green all the time when I cut the grass. I never got sick, so you're going to be good. Exactly. exactly. None of us like peas, but green ain't bad. Bad about something. All oh, silica's bad. Uh, stainless steel mesh is bad. Eh, it's all better than cigarettes, so. Yep, that's right. If one of us dies for some crazy reason, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Everything. <laughs> but... When that happens 20 years from now, I'll still at that point be a lot healthier than I would have been if I'd been smoking two packs of cigarettes every day till then. I heard that, man. You know what's funny though? Don't get me wrong. I used to smoke Newports, and every once in a while, I'll yep. get the smell of Newport, and it still smells good. Still smells good. It's been three years, and I mean. Hey, man, that's what we do here at Vape on TV. We don't we don't condemn you for the cigarettes you smoke. We celebrate the cigarettes you don't smoke. So if. I mean, if you want to have a cigarette, 
by all means that's your right but we really promote the e-cigs and hope you don't smoke and we want we want you to vape one of the best feelings ever that's right dude. after vaping i go to the casino walk in there and it smelled worse than anything i've ever smelled in my entire life <laughs> i guarantee it i guarantee it i can't wait I to go to I vegas can't. again I mean, I couldn't believe that I used to smoke in my house, you know? I mean, yep, yep, incredible. yep. My brother, actually, believe it or not, my brother, who would have it absolutely easy, because all he'd have to do is, you know, stop over and I'll fill his damn tank for him even, but he still smokes. He just can't get over it. He's lazy. My so wife. He walks in my house, and my house just stinks. Yep. Absolutely stinks. Even if he doesn't smoke in there, just from his clothes and on him. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yep, my my wife tells me I went from being the uh, the person who made the house stink, and now I am the uh, I'm the portable portable air freshener is what she calls me. Hey, honey, this room doesn't smell so great. Come in here and vape. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thanks, babe. I'm glad I, I can. I have, a, I have a stupid YouTube video. Uh, you know, there's that study that came out that actual PG actually kills viruses in the air. You know, oh wow! Right now, there's little tiny air bubbles with the flu virus and everything in it, all floating around in the air. Propylene glycol is known to pop those little bubbles of water and kill the virus. So, you know, we're saving lives at the same time. I'm sorry. Hang on, I had to uh, do a PM. Uh, right. Trying. Uh, we, we're down to the last couple of minutes, fellas. Uh, I didn't even get nearly halfway through my questions I had for you guys, but that's cool. We had a great time. You guys rock. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut the shit. That's what I was getting at. That's what I was getting at. I knew you had one more. <laughs> what do you got for you? Yeah, we can do three ten minutes. Let's do three. You're going to do a three ten mil. Hang on a second. Let me. And now are you saying what? Three ten mils? Three ten mils. There you go. I'm trying to keep all this stuff straight. You know, I gotta, I gotta work to make sure everything stays straight. All right. Well, then I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, start in the room. I've got to come over here. Wow. Let me refresh. Changing everything. Yeah, I hear you. Lame. 35. You call me lame? Is that what you said? 35. So we're going to do 1 through 40. So you guys got big days going on tomorrow? I don't know what that'd be like, actually. What's that? Uh, Sam's on saying she hasn't ridden in a car with a smoker in months. I haven't either. I can't imagine. It probably stinks. Oh, I did the other day, and yeah, it's terrible. No, trust me, <laughs> my parents my parents still smoke. I tried to get them to vape. My dad smokes three packs of cigarettes a day. My mom smokes two. And uh, I tried to get them, to, I tried to get them both start vaping, and they, they do a little bit. I think they only vape when they're in the doctor's office because the doctor will let them vape in there. So I put in the start. Everybody put in a number, one through 40. Um, but, you know, I went over there the other day. They're both still smoking, and my I stank. My coat that I wore over there, I wore a jacket, and it stank for a week. I had to wash it, and I always thought that it, it'd go away, but yeah. yeah. No, I, no, that's funny because the other day, my uh, fiance's parents owned some apartments, and uh, I do a little maintenance once in a while for them, and uh, I went up in his apartment to fix the toilet. When I left that apartment, they smoked like crazy in there. I literally had to change my clothing because... It was disgusting. It was crazy. I couldn't believe. It. I mean, I used to live in a 700 square foot apartment a few years back, and I smoked in there. I mean, I can't even believe that. Right. Yep. I'm the same way. The exact same way. Yep. Wow. Am I still on air? Okay. Sorry about that. I had to change some stuff around. I was looking at some stuff. I know that we got the uh, contest going on for the uh, three tin mills. Wow, you guys sent me three ten mils. They were all amazing. <laughs> you oh, by said, the way, quick plug. Anybody, if you're part of the APV forum on Facebook, there's a ton of uh, uh, raffles going on right now to help uh, the guy who passed away. 
and um, you know Chi use and they got I mean high end atomizers. They got a couple i hybrids. I don't know what's available yet, but you know, it's a dollar per slot. And uh, you know if anybody ever wanted a Chi U so or an i hybrid, you know for a dollar, here's your chance. Going to uh, Vasilis, yeah. So check that out. Let's get them filled so we can all win. So I can win a Chi U. And you know they call me the Link Ninja for no reason. I just put the link into that. Yeah, oh, I see that? Wow. It looks like Samazon might beat me though. I I am a member of that group. It's an awesome group. So if you guys haven't had a member to, a chance to check it out, go for it. It's good stuff. Yep. All right. So I noticed the numbers have slowed down. If you guys haven't got your numbers in, please do so soon. Absolutely. I want I want to do one more giveaway, but that's I, fine. Gonna... I want to make this the next one a tough one. It's going to be a trivia one for people. Oh wow! And and I know for a fact nobody, nobody in here will even come close. There, one, there's not enough people that have had our juice here. But you know, I, I just I, I'm gonna just throw it out there, and if somebody can even come with, within shouting distance of the answer, I'll, I'll hook them up. <laughs> he will hook you up. All right, I got the one through forty. I got it going on. We're going to figure out who won this juice from BrewCityJuice.com. It is number 32. So let's see who wins 32. Thirty-two. I'm not seeing anybody close. Okay, I see a 33 from Captain and Coke and Stephen D. Ooh, Captain and Coke beat them all. Captain and Coke's the guy that got me started vaping. Just to let y'all know. Yeah, all right. Cheers to you, Captain and Coke. Are they the only two? Uh, yeah, Captain and Coke and Stephen D. Both of them win. What? Three ten mils each? They both won. They both won. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let me find them. Hi. Stephen D. I fucked you up with that one, didn't I? You did fuck me up with that one. <laughs> All right, Stephen D. That's my email address, and Captain and Coke. Here we go. So Stephen D. and Captain and Coke. That's my email address. You both won three 10 milliliter bottles of juice from BrewCityJuice.com. Head on over to BrewCityJuice.com. Let me know what. Oh, that's still the Facebook group. Hang on. <laughs> See what you guys do to me. All right, hang on a second. There's the BrewCityJuice.com link. Head on over to BrewCityJuice.com. Pick out three flavors that you want to have from them and email those to me with your Nick strength along with your name and mailing address I'll get that information off to PJ and Jamel and these the these Thank awesome you. guys <laughs> and uh, they'll get that juice off to you you guys rock thanks so much for hanging out here at vape on TV we enjoy you guys a lot Man, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for having us. No for problem, you. man. No problem. We can't appreciate you guys being. Oh yeah, I can't. Hey, definitely you. can't wait to see you at Bash. Come say hi. I uh, will now. Hanging out with James. Now that I know what you look like, I'm going to tackle you before you even see me. <laughs> All right. So now let's 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 make it tough on the crowd. Okay. You said you had one more. All right. If if anybody can come within. I, I really would like somebody to name it, but I, I don't think anybody could. Uh-oh. It's toughy. One of our juices has seven flavors. Not wow. Including, not including sweetener and uh, culotta or menthol or anything like that. But one of our juices has seven flavors. If you can name it, I will send you a 30 mil of your choice. So, wow. Go to town, folks. Head on over to BrewCityJuice.com. <laughs> If you haven't been to BrewCitiesJuice.com, check them out right now. Throw it in here. Figure out which one that's got seven flavors. Is that right? Yep. Which which juice has seven flavors? Mm. Mott wins. Umbrella drink it was. Umbrella drink, really? Yep. 
Yeah, that's the one. Dude, I've got to say, when I've when I vaped right, that, I, I Tom. His name is. I call him Mott. Right. Yeah. We 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 call Tom Nevin Mott. He's. It's a little inside thing with us Wisconsin folks. Uh oh. Yeah, he's a local. He's probably had it, but still. All right. Well, let me. Uh, a lot of flavors. So whenever you order an umbrella drink, it's a pain in the ass to make. <laughs> is what we're getting at. So go ahead and order it. <laughs> And when I see it, I go, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Umbrella drink is one of those. It's, it's one of the juices that we love. I got it right here, actually, in the tank. But um, it, it's it's a pain in the ass to make. Steep and deep. You order 120 mils. Absolutely. It'll come in 260s. <laughs> All right, so what was if this giveaway? Like 120 mils, send us a message to the website, and I will make you a custom coupon code to get a deal on it. So what was that giveaway for? A 30 mil. You said Tom Nevin. Yep. 30 mil. Tom, you're not getting that until we go to Bay Batch because <laughs> we're driving there together. Right, yeah, they're, they're carpooling, so. I'll okay. Be, I'll so, make sure they're ready for Bay Batch. Tom's another one. What are you, a month into vaping? You got like 12 mods already? <laughs> okay, so I don't I don't need to PM Tom Nevins? No, Tom's fine. He, he knows how to find it. Okay. All right, so okay. I've... I've got Pan, I've got Captain and Coke, and I've got Stephen D, and I've got Sharon. Y'all need to go ahead and make sure you email me. You guys know how much trouble you've caused me. <laughs> <laughs> I got 85 emails to send out tomorrow. I'm just kidding, man. I love you guys being here. That's awesome. Hey, we thank you very much, man. That's no awesome. problem. No problem. I don't even know if anybody's coming up after me. I'm trying to look through, but... My uh, host chat has 285 messages since the last time I've been able to look at it. Yeah, I'm screwed on that. So, <laughs> well, we could run over a little bit. I see y'all chuckling. <laughs> we were just wondering about who's coming up next. It's, uh, I think it's going to be one of our new guys. It's going to be Alan. It's going to be Scarecrow coming up with uh, some late night here at Vapon.tv. That's cool. We've been kicking around the idea of a show. Yeah, what kind of ideas you guys got for a show? I don't know. We, you know, we 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 kind of like the idea of the vape shows and you know the whole online thing and you know we we've been watching a few different networks, not only Vapon, but you know Vapon has gave us the warm welcome. Yeah. You know, but uh, I was I was watching a show one night. I won't name the network, but uh. That's fine. They, they uh. This is a well-established show, which is what made it even more ridiculous. But they had an MT3 and didn't know how to fill it. So. Oh wow! Once once that happened, uh, I I knew I needed to uh, kind of step my game up. I think the show is in the works for them. Well, I'd say that. Uh, hey, I've got an MT3 here. I have no clue how to fill it. Let's all have a good time and watch me do it. <laughs> That'd be how I did it. Oh man, it no, it wasn't even like that. They both looked at it like, "What is that?" Right I, now, <laughs> now if you guys if you guys had a show, would you guys do a show together, or do you think that one of you would do it and not the other one? We well, well, my work my work schedule is kind of funky, so I'd only be able to appear uh, every other week. With oh, okay, the, with the way my work schedule goes, but it, it would definitely be together. And then the weeks I couldn't do it, you know, either we'd have a guest or you know somebody like you or you right. Know, We'd work something out. Now, PJ, you'd have you'd have time to do a show. Yeah, um, usually I'm home by you know, you know, six seven o'clock at night. So if we were able to catch a spot, you know, between seven and ten o'clock at night throughout during the week, yeah, I would. Uh, you know, every other week Jamal would be there. Every other week I'd be there. Yeah. So catch one with Vape On, to be honest with you. But, well, the, uh, you well, know, that's what I was, a rising network. So. so if I was to put on a put, it, that's what I was going to ask. So if I was to put in a good word with the uh, the big man over at Vape On TV, you guys would be interested in something like that. Oh, absolutely. Hey, we're definitely interested. We've well, already talked to the big man, so put in an extra word. There you go. I will. I mean, you guys seem to have good personality. You seem to enjoy hanging out with the viewers and. Yeah. Shoot. Like DJ sets or something, you know. Definitely seems like a show I'd watch. Would you have a theme or just like, hey, laugh at us, just like my my theme is? Well, it be similar, but you know, <laughs> the, the thing of it, you know, the thing that that um, kind of drew us to it is, 
you know, between the two of us, I'm pretty sure if you name it, you know, as far as vape, you know, gadgets and stuff that's on the market, like I said earlier, we've at least right. tried it. Yep. You know, so, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, come to watch these shows. They come to get information. They want to know where they can get good juice, where they can get good devices, you know, quality service, stuff like that. You know, we've, we've been around, you know. Yeah, I've that's awesome. It, I've only been at it for less than a year, but. Right, I me mean, too. Our, our experience and, you know, what, what we do and, you know, what we know, we think it, it'd be something valuable to people. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, you, you don't want to go to a forum and say, hey, uh, what's the best device? Oh, you should get a Enzonic with a GU89 and a, you know, $40 drip tip. What like, the hell language are you speaking? You know? Right, so, exactly. You know, it'd be nice to just, uh, you know, show a few different, you know, devices for people to get used to. And, you know, we just enjoy it. But, uh, well, that's awesome. Well, well, you know, if you guys were to do a show like that, you'd have to get a little bit into the hardware side with your shop. There you go. Maybe that's what we need. Well, help. well, shoot. Yeah. What? I've been talking to China. <laughs> You're talking to China. <laughs> they respond my email. I love I love how vapors talk about I've been talking to China like China was a person. Right. That's my favorite. I send you a package sample. Our package good. You buy now. Lots many. <laughs> right? Most popular. Most popular in the US. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, I've already ran over about fifteen minutes, and I know that I've got another uh, another host waiting in the cut for uh, right. to come up with the next show. I can't yeah. tell you how much fun I've had hanging out with you guys. Yeah, that's true, man. We appreciate it a lot. Do it's been, ball, you know what? Anytime. I I would be looking forward to doing this anytime you guys wanted to. Anytime you guys want to pop onto my show, you're more than welcome. Just send me an email and say, "Hey, we want to hang out tonight." My shows are always on Tuesday. You guys are always welcome. Absolutely, man. We appreciate it very much. We I had, this is the first time I've actually ran over without noticing it because I'm having such a good time hanging out with you guys. Cool. <laughs> thank, hey, thanks for having us, man. We hey, just want to give a big thank you to everybody that came out to watch tonight and everybody that supports Brew City. You know, yes. We're just, we're just two guys. You know, We're not trying to get rich off of people that vape. You know, there's a lot of people... In the industry that are snakes and you know that are doing some underhanded dirty stuff you know we're just two guys that are tr trying to provide some quality and you know give our two cents you know? that's so right we appreciate it no problem man we love having good down-to-earth honest folks that's what that's what it's all about that's what vaping's all about it's not all about the drama and all the other bull crap you come across in the forums it's about just like you two guys two good honest down-to-earth folks trying to provide and support and give back to the community that's that's provided them and that's right and some fresh beers click link there you go there yeah you go. yeah you know we love having guys like you hang out and we hope to have you around hanging around more we love seeing you guys here and you guys rock thanks so much for being a part of my show supporting our network us, and brewcityjuice.com we need to get our samazon show i want to get on her show well, Samazon show, I she would probably be more than happy to have you around. I'm trying to remember. I think her shows are on Fridays. Fridays or Saturdays. I can't remember, and I'm embarrassed to not be able to remember. Our lineup here at Vape on TV has changed lately. And I think she just got a new night. I think her show just changed. I know, and that's why I can't ever remember it. So you get a pass. And they and Samazon said, you're welcome anytime. Awesome. Yep. But yeah, totally. You guys rock, man. So so you got got your shop. Your shop. How long has your shop been open? Uh, early February. Since February, your shop's been open a little less than two months, yep. and you're selling juice. You've got amazing juice. Vaccine is awesome. BrewCityJuice.com. Check them out, folks. Anytime you've got a chance, check them out. Let them know we sent you. They love hearing that stuff. BrewCityJuice.com. <laughs> Well, vaccine no. umbrella oh, drink the coupon code for april 15 percent off is jedi what joe whole month type that in for him i i the jedi show for the whole month of april is that what you said whole month of april yeah 15 percent no i gotta type that in <laughs> i've been drinking so you know how much fun that is 
Hang on, I'll do control. So what are you saying? Once uh, May starts, you don't like me anymore? <laughs> well, we'll see how you treat us between now and then. <laughs> the whole month of April, folks. 10% off at BrewCityJuice.com. 15. With 15. 15. 15. See, I told you, you're going to make me type it in. <laughs> yeah, 15% off at BrewCityJuice.com with the code JEDI. I was expecting 10%. Shoot, you guys like me 15% of the way? Dang, I feel sp I feel special now. No, that's awesome though. Thanks so much, guys. That rocks. Hey, hey, we're just like I said, man. We're just trying. Man. We're just two guys that love to vape, and you know, we love the people. We've gotten a lot of love from Vape On, so you know, we're trying to return the favor. That's awesome, man. That's what I was gonna say. You hang out here at Vape On TV. We'll send everybody your way we can. Dude, I got down on your vaccine. That was amazing. Your uh, bog fog, pretty damn good, and the umbrella drink. It went by way too quick. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've got a couple of your juices that I like, and you guys, you guys got some good stuff, and I hope to see you around for quite a while. Um, Thanks, yeah, you guys got good stuff. So, like I said, I'm running over. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I can't tell you guys how much I, I really, definitely appreciate you guys being here. You guys rock. No problem, man. And uh, go brew, go Brewers. Go Brewers. <laughs> there you go. Later. Hey, All right. I hope that's on tape. I hope somebody recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Cardinals fan saying, Go Brewers. What the hell? <laughs> All you right, guys. Yeah. Well, PJ, I can't wait to see you next week at Vape Bash. Jamel, hey, good God, man. Find a way, dude. Get there if you can. If you can't, that's cool. I'm thinking about it. All right, well, fellas, have a great night. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I hope let's do this again soon. Absolutely. This is a you great show. It. Shit. I had a good time. You know it. All right, yeah. guys. Thanks, right, man. Take too. care. All right, you too. All right. And that's how it's done, people. Wow, what an awesome second half of the show. I mean, I've not even had a chance to check my emails. Folks, if you guys want stuff on the show tonight and... You were supposed to send me an email. Make sure you get it to me. That's all I can say. Um, if you need me to send it to you again, I'll be hanging out for a little bit through the next show. I think Alan's going to show up and do some work and hang out with you guys. Um, if you haven't sent it, if you need my email address again, let me know. I'll give it to you. Um, that was awesome. That's why I like having my emails before the end of the show because I always worry about it. And I see that I've got four new messages in my email, so they probably all came. You guys are awesome. I had a great time tonight. Holy crap. How did two hours go by so quick and now I'm 20 minutes late going off the of air? I apologize to the next host. Alan, your time is very valuable and I'm sorry. I, yeah, valuable. Your time is very valuable and I'm sorry I wasted it. Thanks so much for everybody hanging out. Yes, Jamel, PJ, everybody tell Bruce City how awesome that was. Dude, I had such a great time doing that. I wanted to come by and hang out even more. What? That was awesome to me. I had a great time. Wow, I don't even know why I scrolled that back to. But yes, I am going to go ahead and close down the show, folks. I think somebody's coming up next. I really don't know because I haven't had a chance to check out host chat. Um, if, it, if nobody comes on, I may come back. I've still got a few beers to drink. I'm going to close out. I'm going to read host chat, and I might come back. But you guys are also awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for hanging out. You guys rock. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great night. And as Derp always 